on our previous video, we helped this noob with the Rumble Fruit reach 2nd C and awaken it. Now, we're gonna help him again reach 3rd C. So guys, are you ready? But before that, you can show your support by using Starcold Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. Gwen, the actor, slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. That's your slam. That's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Gnome is back. And now we are going to continue grinding this Rumble Fruit user with the V2 pole. I'm going to show you the skills and we're going to head to the first C to continue grinding. Wait a minute. Yes, guys, you heard it correctly. The first mob here in the second C, the Raiders, is really hard to grind. So we're going to go back in the Fountain City and start grinding the Cyborg. Guys, please do remember this spot. Best area to hit the cyborg because he cannot hit you back. Check this out. See that guys? Now the only thing you need to do is use your Z, X, and V skill. Avoid using your C skill. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 741. And after that, we are going back to the second C. Finally guys. <laughs> but why? 741 gamer nom because the next mobs the mercenaries elemental effect is at 741 which means they cannot hit you grinding will be a lot easier just by luring them and using your c and v skill or when v is in cooldown use your c z and x okay the goal here is to reach level 750 because you can start fighting diamond but this is kind of harder because it is near the cafe which means there are lots of other players that's trying to defeat diamond for example this one guys a light fruit user came while i was defeating it it kind of helped me in a way but again you can do server hop or stay with the mercenaries next up at level 775 you can start defeating the swan pirates guys they're easy to defeat goal here is to reach level 850 or you can reach 900 with this mob okay so just lure them use your c or v skill again same with the mercenaries there you go elemental level here is at 793 again at level 850 you can start defeating jeremy some tips just spam your skills and after that you just need to dodge to the side just like this guys there you go, and just repeat it. Again, for the easier way, just defeat Swan Pirates until you reach level 900. Again, it's Elemental Logia effect, so it will really be easy. Next area is the Green Zone. You need to level up 25 times with the Marine Captains. This is how you lure them. Don't damage them, guys, because once you damage them, it's unlimited range attacks from them. Let me show it to you. There you go. Lure them properly. Use your skills. Check this out, guys. Did you see that? Air attacks. Also, no elemental here. So you just need to be patient. Only 25 levels. Good news is after this, everything will be a lot easier. Okay, so at 925, you can start defeating the mini boss in this island, Fajita or Fogitora. You're gonna do server hop here and grind until you reach level 1028. For the damage, you just need to spam your skills. And guys, to dodge his skills, which has a very wide range, you're gonna use your F skill. Again, use your F skill to dodge and use all your other skills to damage Fujitora. Next area is the Snow Mountains. So here, again, Logia effect with Snow Troopers. We're gonna stay with the Snow Troopers. So again, they cannot damage you. Just use your C and V skill. It's very easy. You can burst them. Just a reminder, don't forget to use your pole V2. It has two skills, the Hand of God and Electric Prison. Guys, put some stats on your sword too. I'm going to show you my stats. Melee 405, Defense 805, Sword 682, and Block Fruits 1505. Next area, the Hot and Cold. First target here is the Lab Subordinates. Guys, Logia Effect, Elemental, meaning grinding here is really easy. So just lure. And destroy them, lure, destroy, lure, destroy until you reach level 1150. Okay, next up. So, this is my favorite part the Smoke Admiral because he's so easy to defeat, and grinding here will be really fast if you're able to do server hop properly. Best step is to lure him outside his area. Why? Because you cannot use your Thunderstorm here, your X skill, but if you're outside, you can use it. So, additional damage, meaning it is easier to defeat him. Okay, 
Guys, listen, your goal level here is to reach level 1288. Guys, again, to make things faster, don't forget to use your pole V2, okay? That's high damage. There you go. Okay, for our stats, 450 melee defense, 850, 1035 sword, 1530 blocks foot. Next area is the cursed ship. At level 1288, Logi effect on the ship deckhands is activated. So again, same strategy, just lure and destroy. Guys, I'm loving the pole V2. Check this out. Let's use it. There you go. Z and X skill. Boom. <laughs> okay, our target level here is level 1342. Next up, the ship stewards. Again, guys, another Logia or elemental effect. We're gonna grind here until we reach level 1395. So it's easy to lure. Use your skills. Again, X skill. I don't think you can use it here. Well, there you go. Once you reach level 1395, next island is the Ice Castle. We're gonna start here with the Arctic Warriors. Just five levels here, guys. Don't worry, it's elemental or logia effect. There you go. Once you reach level 1400, we can start defeating the boss in this island, the Awakened Ice Admiral. So here you go. The easiest way to defeat him is just lure him on top and use your pole V2 and your Z skill to damage him. And that's it guys. Level 1473, you can now go to your final island, the Forgotten Island. Guys, here, you're gonna choose. Okay, so we have the Sea Soldiers here, Logi Effect. From here guys, you can just level up until you reach level 1500. 20, uh, 27 level ups is easy, don't worry, Logi Effect again. But at 1475, you can start defeating the mini boss or the boss in this island. There you go. Okay, 1475, let's move to him, the Tide Keeper. So the technique here is to stay on one area, this rock, okay? Just lure him first. There's a chance that he will not summon his Sea Beasts, which makes it easier to defeat him. So guys, you choose, okay? Stay with the mobs or defeat this boss as long as you reach level 1500. So after reaching that, gamer gnome, is that it? No guys, once you reach that level, you will get a quest. Guys, for example, if you don't get a quest here, just reset, okay? And you will get the quest, see that? Now you need to go to the Coliseum, okay? Make sure to finish the Bartolim quest and the Coliseum quest. Talk to King Redhead, uh, damage Indra until half HP, there you go. After that, you can now go to the green zone. Look for the Mr. Captain. Here you go. Okay, after that, he will then send you to the third sea. And finally, guys, we've all been waiting for this moment. Rumble Fruit user with V2 pole reaches third sea. Okay, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNome. And GamerNome out.